Welcome back to the finale of Resident Evil Ultimate Director's Cut. Sure you're wondering what we'll be doing now because we finished up Jill's scenario. We did Chris with the arrange mode. And now there's actually a bonus disc for this particular collection, this particular mod that we're playing, the Ultimate Director's Cut. So on the page for the Ultimate Director's Cut, it mentions that it contains a second disc, including uh, including a mode that replicates the Sega, Sega Saturn exclusive battle mode, as well as an, including a new maze mode that turns the mansion into a nonviolent labyrinth. Choose the wrong door, and it's back to the start for you. So that's what we're, we're, we're going to be checking out. We should be able to complete both these modes. And this is the second disc. It is a bonus disc. And when we, and when we boot it up, there will be a... I don't know if it's a fan-made video or if it's an actual official video. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a tribute to like 15 years of Resident Evil. And it shows a variety of different Resident Evil games in this one clip. So I thought we would just check that out. And just to see a little bit of a preview of what future Resident Evil games will be like. Since this is the very first one, we're going to see some sneak peeks, shall we say, of some future ones. So let's boot this up. Ah, the classic. The classic PS1 intro. Made by fans for fans, not for resale. Okay, let's check out this little montage of a variety of Resident Evil games. But it could have ever predicted it would spread so fast. And once exposed, you never stood a chance. It got into your blood, burrowed into your brain, countless lives. We're both gonna die! Altered in an instant. But that's ancient history. We were just getting warmed up.
Okay. Lots of Resident Evil games, almost all of which I've never played. Uh, what a great intro. What a great intro. <laughs> anyway, so I've only ever played the very first one, the remake, actually. This is my first time playing the original PlayStation 1 version. Only played Resident Evil 4. And then ones that were not actually even included on there were Resident Evil Outbreak. <laughs> I had Resident Evil Outbreak file number two. I played that one. That one wasn't even included because that one was probably just really, really bad. But anyway, here we are. Let's go ahead and hop it on into a new game. So we have the battle mode, we have the beginner mode, which is the beginner mode of the battle mode, and we have maze mode. So we're going to hop into battle mode, see what this is, and then we're going to finish off with maze mode. Okay, so I think we're going to play as Jill. Of course. I prefer Jill over Chris, because she has more inventory. Ah, uh, Wesker. Just watching over us, but we know what happened to him. So I'm not entirely sure where this cutscene is even from, to be honest with you. So I've never seen it. But it is based off of the original Resident Evil, so I have no idea. And there we go. That's all the cutscenes that were added to this bonus disc. Really interesting. I like that uh, last one there and the rock song. Is anybody there? I must survive. Whatever that means. So yes, the battle mode is a survival mode. I have to try. And we will be surviving. <laughs> yes, we will. There's no way we won't because, I mean... This is supposed to be some some fun, right? I mean, this it is it is battle mode after all. We gotta be having some fun here. So, in order to activate battle mode, all we gotta do is just encounter the first zombie and we kill him, and then we're all good. And then we will hop into the battle mode and see what that what that means exactly. So the first zombie's right over here. We'll kill him, and then we'll activate the battle mode, which was exclusive to the Sega Saturn version of this game. Oh no, zombie, whatever shall we do? Whatever shall we do? Well, I have a cheat code in to replace the knife with the rocket launcher, so that is... There we go. And not only that, an infinite rocket It says 127, but it's actually infinite. We got some cheat codes on. We got some cheat codes on for this, you know, fun little last thing here. Anyway, let's head out here. But you will soon see... You don't go outside, no, you go into here. And this is where battle mode begins. So, what you do... Is you go into the chest and you pick all the weapons that you, you want. It, ha it has all the weapons in the game in here, pretty much. That, that you could need. I'm not going to need any first aid sprayed because, as I said, we are cheating. So we don't... We don't need any of that because we already have infinite health and ammo. <laughs> so 
So I will take. Let's go ahead and take. Let's go ahead and take that. We have infinite ammo for everything, I believe, except for the flamethrower. I didn't put that cheat 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 code in. Flamethrower. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the flamethrower, shall we? We also have a bazooka. Yeah. Now maybe it's not that fun without you know having cheat codes in, but at the same time, it kind of is fun. This is battle mode, after all. We have to try to kill as many zombies as we possibly can. Oh, just like that. And there he is, so... What should our first victim be? I think he should die by flame. Non-infinite flame, at that. There you go. Death by flame. Only have nine left. There you go. All right, let's head back to our... You know, I kind of like the shotgun quite a bit. Let's go ahead and use use the shotgun. Just have a good old time just killing as many zombies as we can. Ooh, there's one on the ground. There we go. Crush his head. It's okay, though. We're perfectly fine because we have infinite health. Of course we do. Of course we do. Now, I don't really know where to go in this mode. I think it's just kind of random of where it takes you, where you, where you go. Okay, this is kind of going outside. There we go. Just blow them all up. As you do. Have a good old time. Just blowing up the doggies. So this is going to be like kind of random of where it takes you. This is a dead end room, so I don't think we need to do anything here. It's just probably for additional ammo, I'd imagine. Well, this is battle mode. This is battle mode, after all. Do these birds not want to die? There we go. There we go. All birds decimated. With our infinite ammo. Nice. So good. <laughs> All the weapons in the game. Infinite ammo. Incredible. Oh. I don't want to get poisoned here, so I think I'm going to save. Let's use our... Yeah, let's use our... Nah, let's actually use our rocket launcher for the snake. Colonel. It is me. Yet again. I have... Made myself so known in this game. I am a famous star now. I am a member of the stars, after all. Oh, you dead already, sucker! This sucker already did. You couldn't take a rocket launcher to the face? Guess not. See, he's not gonna drop any items because there's no need for items. We just go through, killing as many things as we can, see how far we can we can get. Which is going to be right to the end, obviously, you know. We're doing amazing. Jill, you're incredible. Okay, this is where we would re restock. I think there's some serum here as well, if we wanted some serum. Eh. We don't want serum. We don't need anything. Actually, you know what? I probably will take it just in case I get poisoned at some point. Because who knows? There's spiders. They could poison you. We're not immune to po- Actually, it doesn't really matter if we're poisoned because... I mean, we, we can be poisoned and not lose any health, so... Not a big, a big deal. See where we end up now. Oh, speaking of spiders. Let's actually use our... Oh, and the game froze. 
I mean, I just loaded that back up. Let's see if the game freezes again if I try to shoot the spider. That was just weird that it kind of froze there. I'm, I'm glad I'm kind of sa keeping some save states. There we go. Oh gosh. So many spiders. We must shoot them all. Joe, just cr uh, crush them all. There you go. Just run them over. It's like... Like a juicy sound. Joe, why, why are you gonna let these spiders hurt you, you know? Just crush them, you dead. There you go, you got one left. There you go. Okay, save it there. Oh, now there's actually one, one more over, over here, too. Come on, spiders. So what is this? The Oh, a three ball, huh? I don't like that we need any sort of password or anything. 958. I don't think that we that we need that because all the doors are unlocked and we just kind of randomly teleport. But it's good to know. Good to know. Alright. Oh gosh, it's plant 42. Three rocket launchers for Plan 42. That's insane. Oh no! It still came back to life! This is the ultimate... The ultimate enemy in the game. What the hell is this? Barry, you must save us! I don't know why. Oh, here yeah, we go. Oh, that's all we had to do, Barry. Just use our flamethrower that we didn't have. He must have taken it from from our box. There you go. Decimate this sucker. Barry, I don't want to hear it. I guess there's no way to actually get rid of this cutscene because of the scripting. Don't mention it. What a monster. It is a monster. I can't believe. What the hell is this place? No idea. No idea. Well, Barry, we thank you. Fuel. <laughs> we don't want that. That's just fuel for the flamethrower. Barry, there is one thing that you must know about Jill. She likes to shoot people with rocket launchers. Okay, let's see where we end up now. We're just all over the place with this. Ooh. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a harder area. Hear it walking. There it is. You can't you can't hurt Jill. Yeah, let's just keep on going. Keep on going. We don't need any health spray either. We need nothing. Because we have infinite health after all. Oh no. Another boss. Whatever shall we do? Oh gosh. One much of juice. Joe, get through that door now. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, whatever shall we do? Just blast that spider. Okay, another save room. This is, I guess, going to be like our last save that we don't need. <laughs> Let's just go. Look at that. We've almost completed battle mode. The cheater's way. Oh, gosh. Naked zombies. I kind of want to decapitate you. Yes. 
<laughs> Look at all the naked bodies all stacked up on one on top of one another. Oh gosh, all the naked juice. Gosh, the uh, game occasionally freezes there. When I try to shoot my magnum. I guess it's not the best weapon. Okay, let's actually equip the rocket launcher for this last guy. There we go. Naked juice. Oh gosh, they're like destroyed. We should be getting close to the tyrant now, right? Battle mode's almost done. Oh gosh, these guys. Okay. Um, I'm gonna not use this because it could freeze the game. I'll use... You know what? I'll use this instead. The bazooka. Let's hope this doesn't freeze the game. Okay, two down. I like blowing up all those naked zombies, though. That was a lot of fun. Spraying all their naked juice all over the place. Okay. There we go. Dead. Sir, I'm gonna need you to have to come down from that roof. Sir? There we go. And we're still fine. We're still fine. Okay, head through the door. Maybe this leads to that tyrant now. I don't know. We're getting close to it, I think. Oh yeah, here it is. The tyrant. So we never actually saw the cutscene here. We never actually saw the cutscene when Jill and Wesker were in the lab. Hmm. Oh gosh. HD cutscene of the tyrant. In HD cutscene on, on the PS1. Virus is a super virus, which creates a monster which is much stronger than human beings. Tyrant is the most powerful biological weapon in the world. You don't mean you're experimenting on real people. This is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. For the sake of an awful creature? Don't be upset. All weak people exist to be eaten. Well, Wesker, we know exactly what happens to you. Hey, yeah. Uh, just break through that. Look at all the veins. What? Don't come this way! No! <laughs> he just like instantly like turns red with blood. It can't control what it does. They can't control what it does as it's controlling what it what it does. Alright, let's just blast this sucker. There we go. <laughs> Easy. See, Wesker, you should have had a should have had a grenade launcher. Oh, the lab key, huh? That seems to be a new item. What a miserable death, indeed. Got a very miserable death. Anyway. We gotta use the key right here. What would happen if you, if you were not able to? There you go. Wonder what you how how you would pick up the key if if your inventory was full, huh? Guess you would have to shoot off enough rounds in order to 
Use up some ammo or something. Okay, here we are, up on the roof. We still have the lab key. That's interesting. Anyway, let's take out the tyrant again, and then battle mode is complete. <laughs> How short battle mode was when you cheat. When you have infinite ammo and infinite health. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Which look, this is like the worldwide speed run, right? Right here. We did we just did we just did, did, did like a speed run of this game, right? That's right, that's right. Come on over here, Tyrant. I never noticed that one one door. In that cutscene there, it's it's the elevator door that we came in on, and then there was that other door I noticed. Why does he look kinda yellowish? It's like this this door right here. What is this one? Wielded and does not open. Oh. There you go. He has like a yellowish turmeric looking body. There we go. <laughs> Speed run. Amazing. Okay. Battle mode. Complete. I don't know if it'll show the endings. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna skip it anyway. There you go, memory card is not formatted. All data erased. Excuse me? Excuse me? Just kidding. <laughs> I like that. Okay, Resident Evil complete disc. Sweet home. Okay, that, that mode is complete. Very, very cool. Okay, I think I have to reset it. Okay, so let me just hold down. I think if you do, you have to do like a hard reset. Yeah, looks like I have to do like a hard reset. Okay. See, that... It was it, it was it was not enough enemies, you know. This was not enough enemies for a battle mode. Well, maze mode is going to be even crazier. Maze mode is going to be pretty crazy. Okay. Now, I, now I did kind of want to want to see Chris as well at some point because it is. I'll show you. I'll show you. So. I said in a maze mode. Go and pick Jill again. We can skip these cutscenes. Is anybody there? Hmm. Are they? I must survive. Whatever that means. I have to try. Something along those lines. Okay, so maze mode. It's pretty crazy what ends up happening. So if we pick the wrong door, it's that they make the whole mansion like a maze. If you pick the wrong door, you come back out of the front door. So you have to wisely choose your destination in order to actually escape the mansion. But what if we just try to leave? Okay. Too dangerous to go outside. Indeed, we saw Barry's <laughs> Barry's actor. Okay, kind of strange. Now I also wanted to, to go back here, and I wanted to pick Chris as well because Chris has a different one that it shows when you try to open the door. Let me let me show you that that one as well. <laughs> it's just 
I, yeah, I don't, I don't know who created this mod, but they added some interesting stuff to it, shall we say? Some interesting stuff. Okay, so playing as Chris. I do not want to play as Chris, though, because he has less inventory. We don't want that. ゾンビなど複数の敵が襲いかかってきたときに有効なスペシャルテクニックがベレッタの連射だ。構えボタンとショットボタンを同時に連打することで通常より早い連射ができるから挑戦してみよう。The purpose of having those cutscenes like that, I don't have a clue. I do not have a clue. I don't understand <laughs> the reason for having those cutscenes there at the door. And then it's like, it's too dangerous to go back out there. Indeed. It is very, very dangerous to be going out there. But anyway, we're just going to play as Jill. I just wanted to show off both Jill and Chris's door cutscene. As you know, that is a thing. But yeah, getting back to maze mode. So we have to find a way to find the right doors so we proceed with the mansion because it is randomly generated. Well, it's not really randomly generated. It's, it's randomized to a degree. And we have to find our way out. And there isn't much combat, but, but there will be some enemies. And basically what happens if we go through a wrong door we go through this door. And we start right back here. So we have to pick wisely. I've got to search this hall first. So you can't go upstairs. And I know for a fact both these doors, they just lead back to the to the front door. So, oh, what is this? What is this? And look at Jill's costume. Interesting, interesting. Should have looked at Chris's too. I should have going up close, but yeah, we're gonna need come on, Jill. There you go. We take the sun crest, yes. So we have to collect the crests in order to escape, and they are in random spots. Also, because I'm cheating, I can bring up a, a chest whenever I want to to put some stuff away, such as you know, maybe I want to put away this. Put away that. I'll keep that for now, but I want to get a shotgun out, I think. Mostly because I I would love to use this, but I feel as though it's going to break the game. It just, for whatever reason, the game does, does not like that weapon, using it too much. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let us... Head through here and start the maze portion. Hmm. And because I have safe states, if I go back to the front, the, the, the front door, I can just load it up. We gotta cheat. Okay, so here we go. So we are in here now. So let's take a look at some doors. Okay, this just leads back to the front. You see the double, double doors? So... Yeah, okay, so let's not go through that with that door. What about this one? Oh, that also has double doors. What about this one? Oh, here we go. Single door. Ah. Okay, well, remember that there's a door back here. That's where this leads. As long as you don't see the double doors, the, the two two front doors, then you're safe. Oh, a zo zombie! Get off of Jill. Jill does not appreciate this. Jill is going to blast your head off. There you go. Head is blasted. Get closet key. Spelled backwards. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, another crest. Okay, we, I think there's four crests, I believe. 
Oh gosh! Darn you, crows. That's what you get. Darn birds. Okay, so now we are back at the beginning. But we have one, two, two crests now. We need two more. But we, we haven't even found the door where they belong to, so... Get our rocket launcher. Oh, I would have loved to just blast those birds up with the rocket launcher. Blast those birds up. Hmm. There's one more door to try here. Okay, so that one led back to the front. This is the one that we just went in, so there's this one over here. This one that just looks like it goes right back. Let's see. And it does. So basically what ends up happening here, this is where it gets very confusing for a lot of people, that I saw... These will be randomly generated now. See, look, now this one opens up here. That, it, 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 that one did not open up before, now this is a different area. Let's head through. Dog, I'm not playing a game. I got rocket launchers, dog. It's gonna blast you. Blast you to bits. Let's see if this leads to another crest, though. We need that other crest. Woo! I can only see the moonlight in dense forest. Let's get a light on. Oh, I do see another crest on this table. There we go. The wind crest. Okay, we have... Three of the crests now. Which means... Yeah, just one more crest. Let's go find that crest. This is probably gonna... Yep, this is gonna lead us back to the start. So if the pattern follows... I would imagine then the next door, like if we went in, it went in that one door and then it moved to the left, and that was the door that we go in, then it's going to be the next door over to the left to go in. Let's see. Okay. So is it this door now? Is this the correct door? No, this is not the correct door. It's going to be one of one of the other two, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's not that one. What about the one way over here? Ah. Okay. Oh. Well, we don't want to go back there. Okay. So again, this is where it gets kind of randomly generated. Okay. So is it back through this door? No. This just leads us back too. Right. Yeah. So maybe then it is this door. Or does this just lead us back to where we were that other time? This is where it gets confusing. Okay, yeah, okay. So, so, so we were in here at one point. But maybe there's something different here now. Like there's these doors. This just leads us back to the start, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. And we went through here before, but maybe this is different now? Possible this could lead us somewhere else. No, it's the same spot. But, what if we go back through this door? Okay, this just leads us back. Okay, what about here? This leads us back to that crow room, right? Look at those dead- oh, they're not dead. They are now. Darn birds. Whoa! <laughs> Load that back up. It didn't like that for some reason. <laughs> it didn't like all that, it was like a psychedelic mess. <laughs> Probably because the cheat codes that we have on and everything, to be honest with you. That's probably what's causing it. Or it just doesn't like it. It just doesn't like me blasting those crows. Well, I'm not going to blast them then. I'm not going to blast those crows. 
I'm just going to go in, go out, head back to the main hall. There has to be a different way to go. Oh, this is so confusing now. Because it's not consistent now. Like, some of these rooms have already been in. Unless there's a room that had multiple doors, possibly. Which is possible. Hmm. Okay, let's try this door up up here again. Okay, this one's different. This one's different now. But this just leads back here again. But what if we go back here? Ah, this is different, see? No, this just leads here again, which means... Let me just try these other doors, and let's see. This one probably leads to an area we've already been to. It has to be a different area. Well, this isn't really different, but let's see if there's something different when I go through this other door. No. No, that's not different. So let's not go through there. What about here? Okay, this just leads us back to the start. And then... That leads us back- oh wait, wait there, there's something. We didn't go with- go, go, go back through here. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's go through here then. So we went through here and we- When we went through the door that we just came out of, it led us back to that one room. But what if we go over to this door now? Is this going to be different? Maybe, maybe this is going to be different now. Ah. Ah, yes, this is different now. Isn't that interesting? It just changes up on you. Okay, there's multiple ways to go here. Let's try to figure out the optimal path. We have to get that last crest. That is the main priority right now. Sirs? Sirs, do not glitch up my game. Yeah, look at that. It just it, it just freezes when I when I use the the weapon in the second slot. Isn't that weird? So let's not do that. Let's just use the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher, after all, is the better of the weapons. Screw you guys. There you go. Oh, look at the bits. They're just flying all over the place. Ooh, I unlocked it. Where does this go? Hmm. Oh, the kitchen area. But over here. Where does this go? So many ways we can go here. This is, this is where it gets very confusing. Okay, okay. Oh, there's the last crest. We got it. Uh... Sir? Okay. All four crests are... We got them all. Were you- were you- a dead end. Ha <laughs> ha! I like that. Okay, so this is going to take us back to the start. Okay, so now we have all four crests. Now we got to find the door to use them on. And that might be an obstacle. That might be a problem. There's also those other doors that we have to check as well. There's multiple different ways to go and multiple different doors to check out. I'm hoping that this didn't randomize again, like it's like the same path. No? Okay, it's not going to be, be that one. This is probably the worst part because this is all like random here. And I do not like it when it's random. I'd rather it be consistent here, you know? Make it consistent. Okay, does this lead to where we, where we need to go? We need to go into that one room. Yes, this is the room. 
Then if we go through here... Right, this leads us here. I think it just kind of alternates. So we have to go th go through here, go go to where the birds are, go back to the start, and then go through it again. There you go. All birds dead. Freaking birds. Okay, so now when, when we go through that one room, it should take us to the correct spot, if I'm not mistaken. It's all random. Gosh, it's it's like a... A puzzler, alright? I really wouldn't call it a maze, because a maze is at least consistent. This just makes your head spin, because it's just, it's just random. Okay, now let's see if this door is the correct one. Okay, and then, if we go through this door, this should lead us to that other room. Yes, it does. Okay, so that, that is the pattern. That is the pattern that we, that we have down now. So we went through this door before, that led us to the basement. There's this as well. Let's see where this goes. Okay, well, we don't have anything to do with this yet, unless we can destroy the plant. Can we destroy the plant without it? No, this this thing's immune. Okay, so let's not go in there yet. That's, remember that that's there, but we can't do anything about that. There's also that one other room in the kitchen area. And then there's this door. Where does this, this door lead? Doggies. Okay, dog. I ain't got time for you. There you go. Blast you. Okay, so nothing we can we can do there. This waterfall is also running. We can't do anything about that. But what about over here though? Okay, this is like normal here. I know, dog, you just wanted to play, but Joe is not in the mood for playing right now. He really is not. He has no tolerance for this nonsense. Ah. Ooh, fertilizer. Just what we needed. This is actually perfect. Take the chemical? Yes, I love chemicals. Give me chemicals, as we say. I hear doggies. Hey doggy, you wanna play? Guess not. Like he wants to play. Come on over, bud. Hop on over. He wants to. Look at him. He's He wants to hop over and play. Too bad. Okay, so now that we have the chemical, we can use that on the plant. Okay. What a maze. So I'm curious if there is another door that we can go into. That we don't have to repeat that process where we go into that crow room. I mean, if that's what we have to do, I know how to do it, easily. Unless it's switched up. It's possible that everything has switched up. But let's see, though. I think this should lead us back to the start. It does. Let's see if anything else is open, though. This leads to where? This leads to here. Which just leads us to an area... Yeah, we don't want to be here. 
this is not the area. I just want to double check to make sure. No, okay. And then there is this door, which I think that just leads back to the start as well. No, this is the door that we have to go into. Okay, so is there another way we can go here during this this attempt that will take us back to the correct room? Ah! There is, so you don't have to go through that crow room if you just reverse in this room. Whereas if you go in that door on the side that goes outside and you end up in that room, you have to go to that other room. Okay, okay. I think we kind of figured this out now. Now, is this the same? Well, this actually led to that basement. Remember, there was that basement, but we should go to where the plant is. I think we should go to, go to where the plant is first, which is right. Oh, it's, it's actually right here. Okay, plant. Here's some fertilizer for you. There you go. Kill that sucker. And give me the item that you have over there. Very nice. Thank you, sir. What item were you were you guarding? Oh, a key. Yes, I would take that. Let's see what kind of key. Oh, it's a shield key, okay. Okay, so we have a shield key. We have not seen a door yet to use the shield key. Okay, so let's see if I got this now. Let's see if I understand how this works in this first room. Okay, so now we should go up here. Oh, okay, it switched up on me. Yeah, it's switched up unless it's still this room. Okay, maybe it's still this one now. Maybe what well, if you if you don't go in the crow room, this is it stays consistent here and then you go through here. Is this all correct? Ah, it is. Okay, so that'll be our new path. Okay, so that leads to the weeds. This leads this leads to the kitchen, right? There's that one other door in the kitchen that we have to look at. No, this leads out... Wait, this did, did lead to the kitchen, right? It was over here. And then this went through a hallway and then it went into the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's so hard to keep up. It, it's such a maze. Okay, let's see if this is correct. Does this go to the kitchen? No. So we never have to go that way again, it looks like. Okay, so let's not worry about that. So we want to actually go through this blue door over here. This leads us to the kitchen area. Okay, so we went we went up the elevator before. Let's let's, let, let's head over here. Oh gosh, here he comes, the zombie. Oh, oh gosh, he's fast. Look at him. Ah, oh, brains. Brains. Look, he's like running. Brains. Brains. Oh, my brains. He was hungry for those brains.
So where does this lead? Ah, okay. This is different. Okay, then. There's multiple different doors to check here. Okay, so I should push this statue so I, the stupid vines don't get in my way. Oh, and I have missed Emmanuel in the chat, so I want to say hello to you. And congratulations to you. I'm sure that is exciting. That's what happens when you're intense in a maze. You lose track of what people say in the chat. Okay, so I, I know for a fact this is where the vine is. Why? Because I just do. There we go. Or not. I was wrong. I was wrong. I guess I didn't know for a fact, now did I? Unless it's in both. Watch it watch it be in be in both. We're still fine. Fine condition. There you go, Joe. I just don't want to deal with this darn vine. I can understand the vine. There you go. Perfect. Yep, there's no vine there. Okay, so there's a lot of doors here. There are a lot of doors here. I guess let's try them one, one at a time. Okay, this just leads back to the start, it looks like. Yep, okay. So that's a no-go. That's also a no-go. What this one? What was that, like, whip sound? Did you hear that whip sound? I want to hear that again. Hold on. What a weird sound. Okay, good. Honestly, that was actually really, really good. Okay, so that's not... Okay, so maybe that's the way we have to go. Or possibly not. Let's see down here first. Okay, this actually leads somewhere as well. But I'm curious about that other, other room. Oh, this leads outside to use all of our crests. But I am curious about this door. Okay, let's see what's in here first. Maybe this is something important. Locked. Door says control room. Oh gosh, the sharks, Sharknado, coming after us. Okay, that just leads back to the start, and I don't think we can open that, uh, uh, that other door. So we can't, I don't think we can do anything in there yet. We have to get that control room key, it looks like. Maybe it's over this way. So why don't we put all of our crests in, free up our inventory. Yes. Oh, it's so nice to have such a clear inventory. Yes. Okay, so a lot of obstacles are presenting themselves to us, but fortunately, we're, we, we're kind of on a good path here. Oh gosh, we're in the lab already. Uh, oh. Okay, so I know that there's multiple doors here. There you go, zombie. But where does this go? Power room, the door is tightly locked. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. This is the elevator. There's no power, probably, and the switch pipe doesn't work. Okay, so that's two rooms out of here, and then there's two rooms here. Let's check this one. Okay, that actually leads somewhere. Does this lead to like naked zombies or something? 
Oh gosh, yes it does. Naked zombies. Tons of them. Tons of naked zombies. Oh, is that just... Oh, there's... And there's more! More n and naked zombies. I don't need first aid spray. Sir? Quit spraying all your naked juice at me. Oh. oh, does this lead back to the... It does. Look at that. It leads all the way back to the very beginning of the mansion. So there's no point in that room at all unless you want a health first aid spray. Oh, and that, and that leads back to the beginning too. Which means... This whole area is completely useless then. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing in that lab area. We have to try to find... Okay. I wonder if that other room is unlocked in that water area. It could be. It could be. So let's actually head back there. It should be relatively easy to get back there. Let's see how good my memory is of where we have to go. Unless this switched up. I hope this did not switch up, so it should be this door. Yes. Yes, it is. Then you go back here. Then you head through here. Then you go up the steps. Okay. So, I'm wondering if there was another room open... ...in... ...here. This leads to the water area, I believe. Yeah, so there was this one door that was locked. Control room. We we need to get get the control room key for that. And there's these two doors. Okay, this door is unlocked. Okay, this is the door that I did not try. Where does this lead? Oh. Oh, sweet. The control room key. Okay, we know exactly where that goes, but I bet it's going to take us all the way back to the beginning, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So we have the control room key now. We we are seeing some progression now. We're seeing some... Well, well we have been progressing, but we I think we're getting kind of close to the end. Because we've already kind of been to the lab area, but we, don't, we didn't have a key. We need to have a proper key in order to get to the lab. So I, th I think that we're getting close. Relatively quick, once you know what to do. Okay, head through here. Oh, that switched up on me. Oh, that switched up on me now. Okay. That's different. Now, it's either a new pattern or it's swapped patterns to the outside door, which means after we went back to the start, it would have swapped patterns to this door again. So let me check this door again and see. No, it's it's a new pattern now. It is a new pattern now. Let's see. Gosh. Okay, nope, that's not it. I wonder if it's this door now. Yes, it is. Okay, which means, because it was there, it should be this door. And 
That is correct, okay. We head through the blue doors. This is as long as there ain't nothing else switched up on me, you know? It's such a maze because you go through here thinking it's it's the door that you want to go through, but it's then you end up in the basement. Oh no, see I, I went the wrong way. I got confused. Okay. Fortunately I saved here. So Did it swap on me? Because I thought that was the correct way before. Maybe it swapped to this room. Oh, all of these rooms swap now. Oh my gosh. Which means it's probably this door. I was wondering why that, that looked different. It's probably this door now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, game. You're really playing some mind games. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh wait, the shark should be out, right? The shark should should be out in this next room. I wonder if these rooms rotate. I'm gonna guess no because of the key. I'm thinking because we use a key that these rooms are not going to ro rotate. Okay. Wait, did these rooms switch? Oh my gosh, they did. How sneaky is that? How sneaky is that? Those rooms switch now. Oh my gosh, are you for real? Okay, so we have to use the control room key on very likely the actual control room door. Okay, let's head over to that actual real control room door. Because that was the one that was before. It was the other control room key. Yes, the, the true control room key door. Okay, so now that we have the water turned off, let's go ahead and turn this water off. There was a sound of water in the distance. Hmm. Well, remember that outside area with the waterfall? That's what it's talking about. That's what it's talking about. So now we gotta head back there. But the thing is, can we find it? Or is everything switched up again? It's possible everything is switched up again. Okay, so I'm just going to say it did not switch up, which means this is the door, right? No. Okay, so it looks like it's back to where I remembered it before, which is this, this door. Okay, yep. Let me turn around, turn around here. Now, how do I get outside again? I gotta remember that. I think it's through the blue... No, it's not the, It was the blue doors this past time. But this time, it'll be through the elevator, I believe. Let's see. Does this lead outside? It does. It does. Which means now... There we go. Another new area. Oh, and I have to hydrate. Oh, thank you for all the water. Yes. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're in a different part of the mansion base. Basement. Oh gosh. Sir? There we go. First aid spray. I don't need it. I have infinite health, after all. <laughs> so what are we looking for down- Oh, that lab key. We're looking for that lab key now. Not liking these tunnels. I must hydrate again. Good water. It's always good. Good to hydrate. Sir? There we go. Blasted to bits. So this looks like there's multiple ways to go here. Let's see. Does this lead back? Ah, it does. See, look how sneaky. Let's not let's not go through there. Let's go back here. Ooh. This is new. Gold emblem. Oh, well we know where that goes. That goes in that very first room with the fireplace. Okay, so now we now we do want to go back to the beginning. Okay, so what's this going to reveal? Putting the gold emblem in this room, it opens up that clock area. Let's see what's behind the clock, I guess. What is it? What could it be? What could it be? Ooh, the lab key! Okay, so now we- now we gotta head back to the lab. And I think that's- that seems to be like all of the main obstacles right now. We haven't found any other- any other obstacles unless there's more behind the lab area. Okay, so... If everything's switched again, it, this will be the door. Things have not switched. Okay, so things are in the standard place. You go through here, you go back to the previous door, you go down to the blue door. And then I- the rest of it is kind of... I don't quite remember. <laughs> I don't quite remember. So is this- is this the door? This leads to where? That's right, the basement. Is this correct? Is this correct? Uh... Right, and then you go up... Oh, I think it's actually because we're going to the lab, it's this other door, right? Is this correct? Is this the lab door? It is. Was I right? Oh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure actually, because I've I only went to the lab once. No. Put that back up. Okay. Just want to make sure. So this is this is the plant, right? This goes to that plant. Yes. And then this leads, does this... I think this just leads outside. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. So I was on the right path, but I should not have gone... to the elevator in the kitchen. I want to go up to the base, up, up the steps in the kitchen, I guess? Is the 
is the way to go, but how do I get to the lab again? It's gotta be, be there. Oh, that's right, this leads to that mansion, okay. Yeah, and then you go... You don't go through that door, you go through this door to get to the lab. This is the lab. There we go. Confusing, but we got it. Now we use the, the key here. Yes. Discard that stupid key. Okay. Gosh, that is like a maze. Oh, it's, it's meant to be a maze, but it's like, it's like, ooh, it's so hard to remember. Oh, here we are. This is the end. Pick up our flare. Shoot it off. And kill the tyrant, and then we're done. Wow. I really liked the maze mode, to be honest with you. The maze mode was so cool. I don't think I... It would have taken probably two to three times as long if I didn't have save states and infinite ammo and infinite health and everything. So I'm glad that I did. But... Yeah, this was a really interesting mode. Like, if I didn't have a rocket launcher here and I just had... You don't find any weapons, so you would just have a knife here. Right? You would just have a knife here. There's a shotgun I, uh, you, I brought out. Oh gosh, he's all turmeric man again. Turmeric man. Oh gosh. Here we go. So we have completed battle mode and maze mode. As I said, I really did did like maze mode. Maze mode was really, really cool. It was such a cool concept. I didn't like the fact that the rooms would rotate. I don't think that is right. Memory card is not formatted. All data erased. We know your game. We know your game. I like how it says it there. Just kidding. West 67. <laughs> there you go. Complete disc. Sweet home. So. Yep. Really, really cool. That's actually going to do it. For everything we could see in Resident Evil Ultimate Director's Cut. You know, there's there's definitely some cutscenes we technically didn't see when playing as Chris, both Chris and Jill. Mostly with Chris and Rebecca and all that sort of stuff. This was not a, a game that I was particularly, I guess, too fond of, to be honest with you, compared to the remake. Because I never played the original one. I think if I did play the original one, I would probably have liked it a, a lot more. But... I just kind of had a bit of a hard time because it is a hard game. Limited ammo. Funky controls. <laughs> Zombies just coming in at, after you all the time. But other than that, it was enjoyable, but not probably the best Resident Evil game that I've played. So, that's going to do it. Next time I will see you for a different Resident Evil game. You all take care, and I'll catch you later.